Hi guys, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now, today, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is actually itong uh, bagong topic natin, which is the uh, block shear. Okay? Actually, continuation lang to sa tension members natin. Now, first of all, ano ba tong block shear? Okay? Now, meron na tayong dalawang limit states so far sa previous videos natin. Meron tayong uh, tension yielding at saka yung tension rupture. Okay? Now, ang block shear actually... Uh, para tong extension sa tension rupture kaya nga lang merong bagong uh, may bagong twist parang ganun. Anyway, uh, kung, uh, for example, meron tayong angle connected to a gusset plate, ha, ganyan, tapos it is connected by bolt, okay? Now normally sa limit state natin doon sa rupture, actually ganito, para ganito yung uh, nakikita niyo ba? Ayaw nakikita lang ha. Para ganito yung uh, rupture na ang tawag doon, rupture area niya nandito. Okay, but sa black shear actually parang isang block talaga ang makukuha sa uh, ano talaga? isang block talaga makukuha sa sa angle mo tapos uh, notice na ang uh, yung rupture line okay or yung uh, yung rupture ba will follow the pattern of the bolts okay notice na for example dito pag ganun no? pag ganyan tapos of course bababa na bababa pag ganun okay so dito same pa din uh, ito sa rupture but notice na meron na tayong dalawang areas kasi previously ang um, ang um, areas natin actually sa tension lang, okay? Na minsan may diagonal na areas but actually considered pa rin yun as tension. Yun nga, just add S squared over 4G. But this time, meron na talaga tayong uh, shear areas, okay? So for example, ito na yun na, na nakuha na yung isang block. Talaga, nakuha na, nag-rupture na. Notice na meron tayong dalawang area ito. Shear area at saka tension area. Now, this is actually shear area kasi nga... Uh, yung area niya is parallel to our load which is horizontal then now obviously this is a tension kasi ang area niya is parallel sa uh, parallel sa i mean perpendicular sa tension natin okay so let's proceed i think pwede na uh, editor uh, isang example pa so plate uh, tension member okay so for example ito naman no meron tayong plate tension member so same pa din notice na meron tayong black shear sa gusset plate okay ganito yung mangyayari maaring magfail yung gusset plate Okay, or maring yung tension member mismo ang mag-fail. Okay, ito yung block shear para sa tension member. Okay, so same pa din, notice na ang, ang rupture actually follows the pattern of the bolts. Okay, so uh, ito yung importante. Again, same lang to sa previous natin na videos, but dapat alam mo yung ano yung shear area at saka ano yung tension area. Okay, kagaya nito. Uh, meron tayong net shear area mamaya makikita nyo sa slide so ang net shear area same pa din pag meron tayong net okay na word simply subtract the areas ng bolts ganun lang talaga bolt hole subtract the area ng bolt hole now in this case notice na center to center ang location ng rupture okay so meaning ang area ng bolt hole actually is isa dalawa and kalate okay ganun lang so anyway I think mas maintindihan nyo pag meron tayong sample problem okay So, let's proceed. Now, ito yung sa NCP 2015. Uy, medyo. Uh, I'll try to remove muna yung mukha ko pag meron na tayo sa dito na part. Yan, yan. Sa part na to. Anyway, uh, the available strength daw, the nominal strength is, uh, you can uh, you can get that using this formula. Okay? So, that is 0.6 F sub U A N V plus U B S F sub U A N T. But, okay, ito yung general formula but uh, please take note of this limiting formula. So your nominal uh, stress or your your, your nominal uh, ano yan ang tawag dito yung available strength mo yung nominal strength mo is actually uh, must be equal or less than this value okay so 0.6 FY AGV notice this is actually for yielding no plus UBS F sub U times AN T okay now again notice na ang factors natin yung uh, mga factors natin dito is similar lang sa rupture yun nga This is actually just the same sa rupture. Except, meron tayong bagong formula and new uh, variables. Anyway, I think okay na kayo dito. Gross area, net area. Na ito yung importante. Kailan? Yung UBS natin actually, ang values niyan is 1 at saka 0.5. Now, actually, meron ding uh, formula para sa UBS in terms of yung length. Okay, na connection. But anyway, uh, medyo advanced na yun. Uh, skip muna natin yun. Okay, focus tayo sa kung ano yung importante at saka kung ano yung maaaring lalabas sa board exam. Anyway, uh, ito, ito, yan. Now, nakuha ko to sa Google, no? Sa images. Now, tingnan nyo. Now, ito yung mga cases kung saan ang UBS natin is actually 
So, halimbawa, bolted angle, welded angle, uh, asa na yun? Ay ko. Single row beam and connections, angle ends, at saka gasset plates. Now, uh, sir, kailan? May kailan mangyayari na uh, 0.5 ang UBS. Now, yun nga, ang UBS natin dito is 1 kasi this is uh, assuming, no na, ang tension is actually evenly distributed or uniform. Tingnan nyo. Uh, tension stress is uniform. But, tingnan nyo dito. Pag meron kang multi-row beam and connection, for example, okay, notice na ang shear, I mean, ang tension dito actually is greater than, no? Okay, or yung shear dito is actually greater than compared sa, so sa outer bolts ba, compared dito sa row na to, okay, sa inner bolts, okay? Mas malaki ang stresses sa outer compared sa inner, meaning, hindi uniform ang uh, stress distribution, so you need to use UBS na 0.5. Now, if ever lalabas to sa board exam, I, uh, I think eh, bibigyan na ni Engineer Paceris no, kung ano yung UBS. Okay? So, if ever hindi man, just assume 1.0. Okay? So, let's proceed. Let's try to solve our example problem. Ganun lang. Napakadali. Now, I think mas maintindahan nyo pag meron tayong sample problem. Okay? So, ito yung example problem natin. Uh, the tension member daw is uh, plate 3 over 8, 5 and a half. Nakikita ra ba? Okay. So, 8 to 4 to steel na is connected to a 3-8 inch thick gazette plate. Ito yung gazette plate. Also, to uh, 8 to 4 to steel na with 3 4 inch diameter bolt. Again, ang binigay ha, bolt diameter, hindi hole diameter. Okay, so you need uh, you still need to add 1 over 8. Anyway, determine the nominal block shear strength of the tension member. Okay, let's try to solve. Yan. Okay, so yan na pala. Okay. So, example number one, the tension member. Yan. Ito yung na-transfer ko na. So, let's try to solve. Uh, first, oy. By the way, nilagay ko na pala dito yung possible na uh, rupture. I think same na ito sa pinakita ko kaniha. I mean, kanina pala. <laughs> okay. So, ganyan. So, I think okay tayo dyan. Anyway, uh, skip muna natin yan. Okay. Mamaya na lang yan. So, given muna tayo. Ano yung given natin dito? Mm. So, this is just a rectangular plate. So, walang problema. Uh, Properties muna, ano yung steel natin dito? A242. Okay, so, ano yung A242 natin dito? So, A242 is actually 50 at saka 70. Okay, so, 50 and 70. So, yung uh, F sub Y natin, wait, ano yan? Okay, so yung F sub Y natin, uh, uy, 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 sandali lang ha, medyo naglalag. Yan. Ang F sub Y is actually equal to uh, 50. And then, ang F sub U naman is actually equal to 70. Okay, no? Yung units natin. Okay, now next, uh, let's try to calculate. Uh, ano ba? Mayroon pa ba? I think wala na. Yan lang ata yung given. So, let's solve. Uh, let's try to solve first the net areas. Okay, yung gross at saka yung uh, yung gross at saka yung net shear area. <laughs> Sorry guys, may tumawag. Uh, anyway, uh, balik tayo dito. So, tension members. Tension members. Ah, nawala na ko. Ah, saan na ba tayo doon? Ah, dito na pala. So, area muna. Uh, let's try to solve first the uh, shear area muna. Shear area. So, I think mas maganda pag uh, dito na lang sa baba. Dito ko ilalagay. Uy, nawala. Dito na ulit. Shear area. Now, let's try to calculate muna yung gross area. So, that's actually a GV. Okay? So, if ever nahihirapan pa kayo, tandaan nyo lang, basta shear V, tapos tension T. Okay? Tapos G stands for gross, and then uh, N stands for net. So, ang area gross nito, para sa shear, obviously ito, uh, isa, dalawa, so i-times to lang natin. So, ano yung length nito? This is simply equal to 1.5 plus 3 plus 3. So, that is actually 7.5 multiplied by the thickness of our rectangular plate. So, that is actually, ano yung thickness natin ulit? 3 over 8. Oh, ano problema? So, 3 over 8. And then, multiply ulit by 2. Bakit? Dalawa kasi yung isa, dalawa. Okay. So, anong, anong sagot natin dito? By the way, uh, you can use your calculator sa if ever... Uh, meron tayong kagaya nito uh, isusolve ba but sa pag mga madadali lang actually yung ginagamit ko is actually yung matcad na lang ok 
Okay? So, after nyan, uh, meron tayong area gross. Okay? Let's try to solve area net. Okay? A and V. Now, ang net area natin is same pa din. The gross, which is equal to 3 over 8, times yung uh, ito, ito. But, huwag nyo kalimutan, that's actually 7.5 minus yung holes. Ilan ang hole? Isa, dalawa, at saka kalahati. Okay? So, 2.5 times, uh, ano yung bolt, di, uh, bolt hole? Now, meron tayong diameter. 3 over 4. Oh. 3 over 4. Now, don't forget to add 1 over 8 para sa, okay, yung bang, ala, yung bang nasa code natin. 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16. Then, times 2 mo. Huh? Kung mo kalimutan eh, times 2. Okay. Sir, bakit times 2, sir? Dalawa kasi, oh. Isa, dalawa. Okay. So, ano yan? 3.984. Nice. Okay. Inch. Square. Okay. Let's proceed sa tension area naman tayo. Yan. Ah, tension area. Okay. Now, para sa tension area, ang gagawin natin is same pa din. Uh, ito, this is actually 2 and a half, but subtract mo ng kalahati dito, kalahati naman dito. Okay? So, asa na yung tension area natin? That's, uh, ano nga ulit yung symbol? Ano nga ulit yung symbol para sa tension? Kalimutan ko na. ANT pala. So, sorry, sorry. Tama nga no, ako. Kakasabi ko nga ako. A N T. Okay. So, ang tension area is simply equal to 3 over 8. Okay. Multiplied by, tama ko diba? 3 over 8. Multiplied by 2 and a half. Minus isang diameter. Bakit isa? Kalahati. Dalawang kalahati ba? Okay. Kalahati, kalahati. So, minus 3 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Okay. So, you can easily solve for the net tension area. So, that is actually 0.609. Okay. Now, since meron tayong 0.609 uh, na area, ang gagawin natin is ito. Mm, I think pwede na. Let's try to solve uh, R sub N agad. Nominal strength. We can actually solve our nominal strength na. So, check natin ulit dito yung formula para sa nominal strength. Hmm. Now, the formula for the nominal strength is 0.6. Okay. So, i-copy ko muna ha. Mm -hmm. That is actually, ano yun? 0.6 F sub U times A and V plus uh, UBS okay, times F sub U times uh, A and T. Okay. So, uh, direct sub lang. Meron na tayo mga values nito. 0. 0.6 times ano yung F sub U natin ulit? 70. A and V natin ito, and then two. okay, plus UBS natin is 1, obviously F sub U is 70, multiplied by A and T natin is 0.609 okay, then you can easily solve for the value, that's actually, now I think 210 na lang, lagay na natin 210 mamaya, 210 kips, okay yan o, 210 kips now again, this is temporary muna, bakit? Meron tayong tinatawag na R max. Okay? Para sa black shear. Ano yung maximum natin? Yan, nandito. That is 0.6. Ito lang yung palitan mo. Ito, ito. Yung 0.6 uh, FYAGV. This is actually considering yielding. Okay? So, check natin ulit dito. Yan. So, instead of, uh, instead of FU, FYN, tapos instead of net, that is actually... G. Same pa din. Uh, direct sub lang. So, i-copy ko na lang to. I think similar man lang. But dito, this is actually 50. And then, it's yung gross natin is actually 5.625. Okay? So, let's check kung ano yung sagot nito. Uy, 211. Okay? So, nang ibig sabihin nun. Now, we have a maximum of 211. But yung nakuha natin 210. Meaning, Pasok yung answer natin. So, ganun lang. R sub N. So, our R sub N. Uy, bakit may nag-error? 
So, ang R sub n natin is simply equal to, ito yung pipiliin natin. Ayan. Uh, 210 na lang natin. Para maganda na. 200 tips. Okay. So, ganun lang guys. Napakadali ng, uh, madali to. Actually, madali. Now, para yan sa nominal strength. Now, if ever tatanungin ka kung ano yung uh, design strength for LRFD, just uh, multiply this by 0.75. And then, if you are asked kung ano yung allowable strength, okay, para sa ASD, just divide this by 2. Okay? Or multiply that by 0.5. Depende na yan sa'yo. Okay? So, I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to. And then, uh, don't worry. I think okay na tayo sa tension members. Okay? Now, let's proceed na sa compression members. Now, sa compression members, medyo uh, mahirap-hirap na yung uh, mga formulas. Okay? Madami na tayong mga properties na kailangan para sa sections natin. So, expect na gagamitin na natin yung ang tawag dun, yung mga yung mabinigay ko sa inyo na spreadsheet para sa properties ng steel. Anyway, mga steel sections natin. Anyway, uh, yun lang muna. Tapos, I hope na may natutunan kayo. So, see you sa next video natin. Sige, sige. Ingat! Holy grail!